Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to mod Bethesda games such as Skyrim Special Edition on Linux using Mod Organizer 2. So to my knowledge, when it comes to modding games on Linux, there's no native mod manager. So instead, we need to run these particular tools using Wine, which is a Windows compatibility layer. Now in a previous video, I covered a method of installing and using the Vortex Mod Manager on Linux. However, in this video, we're going to be covering Mod Organizer 2. Okay, so the first step is to install Proton Tricks. So since we're going to be running Mod Organizer 2 using Steam Proton, we first need to install Proton Tricks as a dependency. Now there's many methods that you can use to install Proton Tricks on your system, however choose the one that's most appropriate for your installation. In my particular case, since I'm running Endeavor OS, which is a ArchBit Linux distribution, I'm going to be installing it from the AUR. So step number two is to install Mod Organizer 2. So to install Mod Organizer 2, we're going to be using an installation script created by Rocket Bacon. First we want to click on the Releases tab on the right hand side, and then download the latest script, which is this one for this video, which is 4.3.0. Once that's downloaded, you want to extract the archive, and inside the extracted archive, you'll find a install.sh. So to run this, we need to open up a terminal window, and then if we run the following command, which is period or dot slash install, dot sh and then press enter so the first thing that's going to ask you is what game you'd like to manage in my case i'm going to choose skyrim special edition let's click ok on that and the next bit it will tell you a couple of warnings about using older versions of proton and uh, also not setting any launch options however i've had no problem at all running mod organizer 2 using proton experimental as well as enabling mango hood in this case we're going to click all done let's continue and then ok that's going to ask you where you want to install Mod Organizer 2. So we'll choose the default location for me and click OK. Now, in my case, I've already installed it, so it's going to tell me that this is not empty. That's fine, we can click yes. But in your case, it'll start the installation process. So, as it states here, for me, it says Mod Organizer 2 is already installed. So, in this case, I'm going to click yes to update. And this is also the text you would see if you're obviously going to update Mod Organizer 2. So, we'll click yes on that. And then after a short while, you should have the message that says installation successful. Launch the game on Steam to use Mod Organizer 2. We're going to click continue on that, and then just close down these windows here. So step three is to update the script extender. So as the part of the overall installation process, what you'll find is that it will also install a script extender. In the case of Skyrim Special Edition, this is going to be SKSE. However, what you'll find is the version it will download and install will be out of date. So to update it, what we can do is download the latest build from the website. And in this case, I'm going to go with the current anniversary edition. Download the option here. And then once again, we want to extract that folder. Once the folder is extracted, open it up and take a copy of everything inside of here. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to paste it into the game's installation folder. And the absolute easiest way to do get to that is go to Steam, right click on the game, go to Properties, Local Files, and then click the browse button here. From here, paste in the files and choose the option to overwrite if you get a prompt to do so, which you should do. So the fourth step in the process is to actually launch Mod Organizer 2. So at this point, you're pretty much set up. So to launch Mod Organizer 2, launch the game as you normally would do. And after a short while, you'll find that Mod Organizer 2 will load up. So if this is the first time you've launched this, you'll get an option to either install a local or portable installation of Mod Organizer 2. I recommend just choose the normal one and don't use the portable one. You'll also get a second prompt where it'll ask you to specify the location of the game itself, as well as what folders you're going to be using for staging for the modding process. And finally, you'll come to the main interface of Mod Organizer 2. So from here, if you want to add mods to your system, you click on the computer icon here, and then navigate to where the archive is located. In my particular case, I have several mods already installed, so I can create an optimal load order by clicking the sort button over here under the plugins. Let's click yes to that. This will also give you a couple of hints to uh, some additional re recommended mods, maybe for bug fixes. Uh, for example, this one here talks about installing the flashing save game fix, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. But it also tells you about a couple of patches as well for some mods you may have installed. Either way, once you're happy with that, it's time to launch the game. So what you want to do is choose SKSE at the top here. By default, it will, it will show Skyrim Special Edition, but we've obviously installed Script Extender, and then click the Run button to launch the game. Now, a couple of things just to note. 
Uh, and what I found is that the performance of Mod Organizer 2 running through Wine can be a bit slow, especially when you're importing mods. Aside from that, it works as well as you expect. Okay, so let's uh, launch the game and let's check out what the performance is like. So in conclusion, I found that modern Linux can be a bit of a pain initially getting everything set up. And certainly in comparison to Windows, it's not just as simple as download, install it, and then you're all set up. However, once you've got past that initial hurdle, modern is pretty much the same thing as doing it natively on Windows. Thanks for watching guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please consider leaving a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you very, very soon. I know.